This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at naming alcohols. So we'll start with an introduction to alcohols. Alcohols are organic compounds composed of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. They have the hydroxyl functional group. The hydroxyl functional group is a hydrogen bonded to an oxygen atom. Alcohols have the general formula CnH2n plus 1OH. Alcohols undergo combustion reactions and oxidation reactions. They also undergo nucleophilic substitution reactions with carboxylic acids to form esters. When naming alcohols, we count the number of carbon atoms in the longest continuous carbon chain. This gives the name of the parent alkane. The E on the end of the alkane name is then changed to ol. So the first alcohol in the homologous series is methanol. With two carbon atoms, we have ethanol. When we get to alcohols with three or more carbon atoms in the longest chain, there is more than one position for the hydroxyl group. A number is used to signify the carbon atom to which the hydroxyl group is bonded. So this example is propanonol. In our next example, the hydroxyl group is bonded to carbon number two. Therefore, it is named propan2ol. Note that we always assign the lowest possible number to the carbon atom, which is bonded to the hydroxyl group. So propan-3-ol does not exist. Instead, it is named propan-1-ol. Propan-1-ol and propan-2-ol are structural isomers. They have the same molecular formula, which is C3H7OH, but the hydroxyl group is bonded to a different carbon atom, which means they have different structural formulas. Next, we look at naming alcohols with four carbon atoms in the longest chain. So on the left, we have butan-1-ol. And on the right, we have butan-2-ol. Butan-1-ol and butan-2-ol are structural isomers. They have the same molecular formula, but different structural formulas. Next, we look at alcohols with five carbon atoms in the longest chain. So on the left, we have pentan-1-ol. In the middle, we have pentan-2-ol. And on the right, we have pentan-3-ol. Like the previous example, pentan-1-ol, pentan-2-ol, and pentan-3-ol are structural isomers. And finally, we look at alcohols with six carbon atoms in the longest chain. So on the left, we have hexan-1-ol. On the right, we have hexan-2-ol. And at the bottom, we have hexan-3-ol. So that's all from this video. In the next video on naming organic compounds, we look at naming the carboxylic acids.